What it is, guys, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming at you today with a little bit of a kind of a somber message, a little um, not a fun thing to really talk about, uh, especially considering uh, I'd already spoken with a lot of my subscribers, people in the Discord and things like that. And we decided to add more uh, Dragon Ball Super content uh, to the channel, actually just as of yesterday, and not 12 hours later did we get the, uh, the message, okay, they're Dragon Ball Super sending. Um... That's unfortunately a thing. There is something else taking its slot. Uh, it is unfortunately for real. So that is the way these things go. And I want to talk about this because as you guys know, I like to try to keep things very positive. I want to talk about why this may not be such a bad thing. Um, and I see so many people the that are just torn up about it. And I think in the long run, this is actually going to work out better for us of course i say that and i have been wrong on this regard but uh let's just very quickly talk about um okay i'll a I'll, little background on me the dragon ball z dragon ball z very specifically is what got me back into anime um i've talked about this a little bit and i'll make it very brief but uh i'd seen some anime in the past uh, of course, when I was a kid, Voltron was a thing. Um, and then as I got a little older, I was introduced to other things like Akira and stuff. I was probably way too young to honestly be a little, uh, to, to really be um, <laughs> exposed to. But uh, it, it kind of was always there a little bit. But Dragon Ball Z was that thing that really broadened my horizons. Because uh, it got me out of that whole, like, you know, it's, just, it's, it's a kid's cartoon. Into, okay, this is actually like an entertaining actual thing. Um, cause if you guys remember back in the day, a lot of the, like the dubs really, really did not do the show's justice. They really nerfed everything. So Dragon Ball Z was a very, very big game changer. And that got me, uh, into then of course your other usual suspects, Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, things like that. And I'm not talking necessarily about like when they were on Toonami. I'm talking about long before they were on Toonami. Um, because a lot of those things came to Toonami long after I'd already been exposed to them. Because uh, I'm that person that once I get exposed to one thing, I'm just going to go out there and seek it. So uh, Dragon Ball exposed me to that, exposed me to this, exposed me to that. And then eventually I started getting into like some of the dramatic elements. Fishy Yugi easily being one of my absolute favorites, and no one even knows what that is anymore. Um, part of the reason I can't stand Inuyasha because it's just it feels like a bad clone, and in a lot of ways it kind of is. So um, that aside, my, my rage for and nerd to my side. Um, so Dragon Ball definitely is, is something I do not take lightly. I enjoy it is one of my favorite franchises out there. Um, so when I see the Dragon Ball Super's ending, I sit back and I get, you know, a little sad. It, a little part of me is just like, okay, it's an unfortunate, but it had to eventually come to an end. And the more I think about it, the more I feel like it's probably the right time. Um, the Biggest issue that I think Dragon Ball Super currently has is the plot holes and the timelines are all kinds of jacked up. Because remember, they started a series that is literally taking place in the middle of a time skip during their most popular series in the franchise. So we already knew there was going to be some kind of... It was going to come to a head at some point. They were going to have to end it. They were going to have to do a time skip. They were going to have to work this in some way, somehow. But also consider the fact that a lot of characters have aged and a lot of others haven't. So you have those problems now. So Goten and Trunks, for one, have not aged at all basically since the Cell Saga. I mean, okay, not the Cell Saga. I'm exaggerating. They have not, but since the beginning of the Boo Saga, legitimately. So we have a 10-year span here. We've already covered, what, three, four years in the 10-year span? And they haven't aged. Nothing has changed on them one bit. They should at least be a little bit taller. They should, you know, not to get into, like, male, you know, anatomy and whatnot, but things should be changing. They should be taller. They should be bigger. They're, um, they should start to get into the characters that we learned about at the end of Dragon Ball Z. So we should start to really see their character development more than anything else. And we've gotten none of it. They're still just kids. Um, Pan has gotten older. We've seen that. Um, Bra is now born. Uh, I mean, Marin 
has got her own uh, entire personality. She has got way more development than we ever thought would happen. So she got more development than any of the other kids, for God's sakes. So it's just like this. At some point, it was going to come to a head. It was going to be a problem. So I think in that regard, ending it probably is a good idea. Um, now, I'm not saying I want it to go away. Not by a long shot. But let's also consider the most important factor here, and that is the animators. We know we have a film coming up. Um, and because of that, our biggest animators are going to want to go work on that film. That's going to be the big bill. Because if you remember when Dragon Ball Super first came out, the reasons we had episodes 5 and things like that, you know, infamous problems with animation, is because all the good animators were currently working on One Piece. Namely, the Gold movie. So, uh... As far as that goes, we had some major, major problems because there, the focus was not on the series. And rather than having that be a problem again or letting the movie suffer, which I guarantee you they're not going to let happen, um, letting it just kind of take a little... Because we it's confirmed. It's done. It's not a hiatus. We are officially done with Super. That doesn't mean there's not something else that could come along. They could completely rewrite GT and make it what it could have been. And for all we know, that might be their intention. Because um, remember, Super's ending at, like, at its peak, basically. Super's done, started way down here. And it was very, very shaky. And then it started getting a little better. And then it started getting a little better. Then it started getting a little better. And then the tournament came, and it shot right up. So even just the hype of the tournament is shot right up. So it's ending up here. So... It's not just going to fall on its face. There's a movie coming out. There's a new game that everyone's excited for. Um, we Dokkan Battle's still alive. I'm doing that on the regular. Um, there's a lot of things that are still very, very prevalent. Uh, hell, Dragon Ball Heroes is still a huge thing in Japan. And uh, there's so much further they can go with that now. Um, so it's not like Dragon Ball is done. The franchise is still alive and well. Don't be sad about that. Um, still if anything, be glad that they're going to focus on the movie and make that the best thing they can make. Because remember, they could always come back and they could make a whole new timeline. Like, basically, the equivalent of Boruto. Um, so there is a lot of places the Dragon Ball universe itself can go. Uh, I believe I know we have the one movie confirmed. I don't remember if they could ever confirm the second movie. There's suspicion because there's a website and all that stuff. We don't know what's going on with that, or at least I don't at this point in time. Um, but all the hype is talking about the movie coming out in December. So definitely, definitely appreciate what they're doing. And let's not focus on the bad here. Let's put all our effort in hoping that this is really for the best. And maybe after the films, they'll go, okay, this is still big. People still want to see this. And they'll produce more. Because at this point, Toei is all about their cash cows. It's, they are a company first and foremost. They want to make money. And so long as Dragon Ball as a franchise is making money, there will always, always be at least a little something in the back of their minds to say, what can we do? How can we, for lack of a better way to put it, exploit this? So definitely, definitely keep um, on top of this. And, uh, you know, let's just keep it positive and keep that in the back of our minds. Um, we don't want to see Dragon Ball Super go from where it is right now down to another episode five again. That's not the other thing I did want to mention is one thing. One, if I had to have a criticism about Dragon Ball Super right now, is that it is being uh, made at such a high rate of speed. There's a lot of disjointedness, for lack of a better way to put it, in the animation itself. We'll get an animation that is animated like um, a couple episodes ago, where it was everything was on freaking. Point. That was a Takahashi episode. Everything was on absolute point. It looked amazing. It looked immaculate. The shading like was beating anything that had ever been done in uh, Z. That it was a beautiful episode. And then immediately after that, you get an episode that actually has even bigger, better plot points, and the animation just kind of falls on its face. Um, you have things that are off model. You have and it wasn't bad. It wasn't like you know stick figure levels of bad. But because we had that, <laughs> let's not beat around the bush. We've had that, um, but it definitely is 
jarring, to say the least. Because especially if you're like me and you watch them back to back to rewatch them and enjoy them, it's not fun to sit there and go, oh, clearly, clearly this isn't the same person. So um, that's another thing. I don't see that as much in One Piece unless they get into a filler arc or, you know, any other show that's at that level of syndication. Not even syndication, but, you know, you, know, you get the idea. Nothing else really has had that problem as much. Um, and I do like seeing these animators come out and stretch their wings, but I also don't like having such a huge, like, variation in it. It's just very jarring. So this could be the best thing. We don't know. Let these animators duke it out and do the best thing they can uh, for the film, and let's see where it goes, and let's have high hopes that that actually encourages them to bring back something more to, uh, to the universe. Or multiverse, I guess, at this point. Um, that's really all I wanted to say. I am a little sad, but at the long, in the long run, I'm just very excited. And the other thing to keep in mind, this series has been going on for almost as long as I've been alive. Uh, <laughs> that's real. It's actually been going on as long as my wife has been alive. So that's the thing. That's how long it's been just in, not even in publication. That's just animated on television. Dragon Ball debuted in the late 80s. So, mid-80s, really. So, that's a thing. Um, and what, the first Dragon Ball manga was what? I think they... When did, when did, when did the, the one-shot Dragon Boy was like or like 81 or something? So, yeah. It's... I don't even remember. I, I'm not a Dragon Ball historian, guys. I'm just some schmo behind a mic, so don't bite my head off if I'm wrong on that. Um... I didn't check my dates on that. I'm just going off the cuff on this one. But uh, so definitely, definitely, definitely don't, you know, don't beat up Toei. Don't beat up you know, Toriyama or Toyotaro or any of those guys. This, I think, is, is wise. And there's only great places to go from here because, like I said, we've got at least one movie, if not two. And then because um, also more I think about it, what we want is we want more Battle of Gods. That was great. When that film came out, it revitalized the entire franchise. Resurrection of F, not so much. Uh, was it bad? Okay, I'm not saying it was bad. It wasn't as good as it has been or could be. So what we want is we want more of this and instead of a whole bunch of this is what I'm saying. So anyway, guys, that's kind of... Let me know your thoughts below. Um... Because I know there's going to be people that just totally disagree with me. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. This is 100% my opinion. So um, let me know in the comment section what you think below. Uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe. And I do have, the, uh, do have the Gleam campaign going on currently. So make sure you hit that as well. Uh, we are on the push for 1K subscribers uh, hard. Because otherwise this channel is going to start taking a major hit. and I, It's going it's to affect how we do gaming badly so i am on the major hunt for 1k subs anyway i don't want to harp on that i've already done that um comment below let me know what you think make sure you hit that old thumbs up if you like my comment content uh or what have you and uh don't forget tonight i will be live streaming at 10 p.m so there is always that as well thank you so much for stopping by and um all that good stuff i'm still working on a new outro because no one likes my outro <laughs> but i will see you guys in just a little bit thank you so much